Hello everyone, it's Melanie. I have kind of an uh, interesting thing to show you today in a way. Um, this is going to be a video about something that I regret. And um, I'll tell you the story of this journal. One of my, or my single most, um, the greatest influence, the person that had the most influence on me getting into this junk journaling is Mary Ann Moss. <clears throat> and if you're not familiar with her, she ha she's not doing much of it anymore. She still does, posts pictures of her sketchbooks and things like that, but um, she's not doing classes and stuff anymore. But her other her classes are truly amazing, and I'll link to her website or her blog down below. But this is a journal, and I cannot remember. Um, it's not Remains of the Day. It's... It might be Full Tilt Boogie, but this is a book that I made in one of her online classes. Um, it's a hardcover book. It's got an interesting sewn binding, and I had used some pieces of this cotton, uh, Indian cotton, you know, um, stitched, kind of cantha stitched fabric. This underneath here, um, I glued some vintage um, wrapping paper onto the cover of this journal and then painted over. Anyway, I love, 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 love this journal. After I finished it, you know, I was doing junk journaling, my own stuff, and Let's see, this is the same, oop, uh-oh, I just stepped on my sewing machine. Let me see, where's my remains of the day journal? This is the same era. Um, so I was working in, and this is a Marianne Moss journal too. So this is 2014 also. So I was working in this journal. This is my first true uh, junk journal, I think. Um, but anyway, so I was thinking, well, this is so fun working in this, but you know, I, my life's not all that interesting. So I had this idea, which seemed good at the time, and I decided that I was going to make a fake journal or scrapbook or whatever you want to call it. So I titled this book, Louise's Journal, a work of family fiction by Melanie Sullivan, 2014. So what I started to do with this journal was go through all of my bits, because back then, 2014, I was, um, it was still pretty easy for me to find vintage ephemera, um, old photos, receipts, stuff like that. It seems like in the last, you know, five years or so, now that journaling has gotten as popular, and I think there's just simply the fact that um, there's less of that stuff out there. But I started putting together a narrative about this woman named Louise, and I can't seem to find Louise's picture, um, but I was using all authentic, like the, you know, this is authentic um, ephemera, antique photos, things like that. Um, you know, stuff like this, cookie recipe, here's a Christmas lunch in 1946. So this is the kind of stuff, true authentic vintage ephemera. And I was using it to construct this story for Louise. And I wish I could find Louise's picture because it's a beautiful, it's a really beautiful woman. It's like a headshot photo um, in the 50s. I guess it would have to be torn on. Oh, there it is. That's, no. Is that Louise? I don't think that's Louise. And her name wasn't Louise. I just named her Louise. Anyway, it was a picture similar to this. That's not her, but it was a picture, you know, that same sort of portrait 
and it was bigger. I remember it being, you know, like this big. So my idea was, you know, since my life's not that exciting, I was going to construct this story of Louise's life, um, kind of in a fictional scrapbook. So I did it, I did probably, you know, uh, I don't know how many pages I did. And then it sat for a couple of years. And then I hadn't worked on it. And when I, for some reason, and I don't know when, I picked it back up and I thought to myself, oh, I'm not ever, this is a dumb, this was a dumb idea. Why did I do this? And because I love this journal so much and now it's got all this fake stuff in it about Louise. And I had this, I thought this was a dumb idea. So I went through and tore out all the pages that I could tear out. Um, because of the way this journal's constructed, I couldn't tear out very many pages, but I went through, tore stuff out, and then the pages that I couldn't tear things out of, I glued stuff over. So then today I'm thinking to myself, you know, well, you know, my life's still not that. I mean, I haven't, I'm not doing, I don't do anything exciting. I wish I hadn't torn up that journal of Louise. So I grabbed it off the shelf and started looking at it. And I realized the pages that I didn't tear out, like these, um, some of the stuff that I glued on is just coming right up. I can get it off. So I started peeling stuff off. And it's kind of cracking me up just going through it. I don't remember, and I don't know what I did with, I can't believe I didn't put, maybe like put everything I tore out of here, the pictures, because everything was, was real, uh, uh, you know, like real photos, not digitals of, or copies of photos or anything like that. Um, everything was real. I can't believe I didn't like put it in an envelope and stick it in here or something. So this story that I was writing about Louise, I was going through my ephemera and finding pictures and coming up with stories about people. So this page was Louise's parents. And I can't remember the pictures that I had in here, but I mean, I wrote things like this. This It's just cracking me up. True love. My dad brought roses to my mother every Tuesday. No idea where I got that from. Um, so, and I can't get this off. I was, I don't know if maybe, this is a wet wipe. So I can't decide, do I want to try to put this back together and redo Louise's journal? Because I really regret, <laughs> now I really regret going through and tearing this up. I really wish I hadn't done it because it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Um, so this page, it says, my mother was born in California and my father was born in Texas. But after they got married, they decided they wanted to live all over the world. This is when they spent a year in Greece. So I think this must have been a picture of a, a couple on a vacation in Greece. And then I'm not sure where it was, but I wrote, they lived right here, you know, and I was gonna put, I guess it was a picture of their house or of a house in Greece or something. I even wrote something here. And then I had that, I uncovered this page. My parents also lived here in London for a year. They had a small apartment at Grosvenor House. So this must have been a picture of this. Maybe it was a postcard. Because the other thing that I thought was really fun to do when I was putting this together is I was using things from different eras. Like, um, you know, the picture of Louise may have been from the 50s, but then the picture, she says, this is my, you know, this is my daughter, so-and-so, and it's a picture from the 1800s. So I was totally ignoring things like <laughs> the era that the picture came from, um, that sort of thing. And I had, I wish I hadn't torn the pages out. 
I had pages in here where I had, you know, vintage ephemera, tickets, and so I was going to reconstruct this whole story. You know, I've got some vintage letters, and I could pretend, oh, this is from her so-and-so, and this page cracked me up because I don't remember doing this, but I know I had a picture here. I do not know. I cannot remember what it was. And I don't see anything that I have that, that's that big. But, you know, it, it would have been, I don't know, just for an example. This isn't her. This isn't what was here, but let's just say it, it was. Um, so this page I put, my Aunt Mindy, we miss her. Um, it says, this is my great Aunt Mindy. She was an amazing runner. In 1956, when the Olympics were in Dallas, uh, she won the women's 100-meter dash. They couldn't catch her after the race, though, to give her a gold medal. She just kept running, and no one has ever seen her since. Oh, and then I put a little disclaimer, you know, put a little footnote at the top of the page, footnote at the top, um, that the Olympics I was referring to were apparently the Southern Ladies Olympics that were in Dallas in 1956, so I guess I made that up too. I don't know, I don't remember what picture, what Aunt Mindy looked like, but that was cracking me. And then, I guess on this page, I just, I hadn't torn it all off yet. Um, so I thought I would reveal this to, <laughs> we could, I can try and reveal this to both of us. So I'm kind of glad that some of this glue didn't work that well. I guess I just glued another ledger page directly on top of um, the page that I had written on. And unfortunately, I did a fairly good job. So this is more um, unjournaling. I've taken this thing. Okay, so let's see. What did I write here? A family of athletes. Aunt Mindy and Uncle Richard had two sons named Roger and Ricardo. They were also great athletes. Richard did the horse jumping <laughs> event in, in the 1972 Olympics in Munich. I think there actually was, oh, okay, yeah. Olympic Games, Munich, 1972. Um, he took home the bronze. That's him with his horse, Darkness Rules, immortalized on a stamp from Dubai. So here I wrote that this was Ricardo at the 72 Olympics on his horse, who I named Darkness Rules. Roger also went to the Munich Olympics and played men's water hockey for the USA. The Americans took the silver medal they were so happy to get medals that they both dedicated them, dedicated them to their mother, Mindy. So here's Roger playing water hockey, which, is that a game? On a stamp. So I just took two stamps from Dubai and worked in a story about the Munich Olympics. Um, so that's all that's left in here. Everything else, I either tore, completely tore the page out or, yeah, it's, it's gone. And I can't remember, I mean, I, could, I guess I could go back and count how many pages I have, approximately one, two, three, four, five, six. Is there six in each signature? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this now, this first signature has one, two, three, four. So I tore three full pages out of this. I have a feeling I tore them out right here. And I looked through this. This is a sketch on a pad I bought. At a, I looked at this through the light and there's nothing. So I must have been going to write something maybe about this drawing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just so disappointed now when I look back. I'm so disappointed that I tore this up, that I 
for some reason, I just thought, that was a dumb idea. Why did I do that? So I went through and dismantled it. Luckily, I didn't. This, I had, when I put this in there, this is um, varnished over and everything. So I didn't cover that up. And I hadn't forgotten about Louise. I just thought, oh, that journal. I wish I could use that journal for something else. But now, you know, I don't have anything exciting to journal about in my own. So I think this might be fun. Um, so now I'll just have to decide how I want to do it. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do it again, do I want to go through and? try to fix these pages that have this glue all over them and continue Louise's story. Um, this is a, it's, this book has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see, ten signatures. If there's an average of six, uh, six times 24, 240 pages. Is that right? I think that's right. 240 pages. So, anyway, let this be a lesson to you guys that sometimes you think, you know, an idea or you think something is, you know, like, oh, why did I do that? Or, you know, don't do that. Don't go, don't tear up stuff that you did in the past because sometimes it just needed some some time you know I'm not sure the best way or how I might can and now at this point you know this was 2014 so at this point I don't even remember the other stories that I had in here um, and I can't think of the best way to cover to make this glue not sticky anymore so if anybody has any ideas like this was had you know this had this whole page glued on top of it and I pulled it off so now all of this is sticky you know I guess I could put a piece of tracing paper or vellum or something over it even like maybe a piece of contact paper um, so that it's not sticky just get Try to get as much of it off as I can, and then, um, and then go back through and start. I think the one thing that I might do differently if I start working on Louise's journal again is originally back in 2014, I was using vintage, the actual vintage ephemera, and at this point. Um, because I've had, um, I don't find this, I don't, you know, I can't find that stuff as easily as I used to be able to. So at this point, I don't think I would use the originals anymore. I think I would make copies of, you know. But my idea was this sort of thing. Like I go through my old ephemera and I was going to ignore dates and things like that. You know, but what is this? This is somebody's application for highway rations. You know, I could make a copy of that. You know, I put receipts in my journals. I could tape this, you know, put, put this receipt in and make up a story about what she bought, you know. Um, there's a receipt for, an, you know, so I have all this vintage stuff and I just, Kind of wanted to I thought I could build a story around all of this but I do think that if I do it again um, I oh, we could say they live there and the other thing I was doing was using I know that I did um, at some places you know maybe that picture where I said they lived here um, you know that kind of thing. I think this. I think it was a postcard, or yeah. You know, well, maybe that was the picture, or maybe that was them here, and then this was a, a postcard. So it's like not even a picture of where they lived, 
or you know of a house even it's a um oh and then i could put things like oh this would you know mrs samuel brown witt announces the marriage of her daughter um 1924 make a copy of this and put that in there and then we could tell about when she went to her cousin's wedding in 1924 you know even though she was grown in the 50s and um her cousins were in the 1972 olympics and anyway i just thought it would be a fun way to use this stuff and then apparently i at some point thought that was a dumb idea and went through and tore it all up um, and thought no that wasn't a good idea but these kind of pictures <clears throat> you know would be perfect you could say this is aunt mindy and her husband what was her husband's name aunt mindy richard mindy and richard and this could have that might be ricardo you know, before Roger was born. And I could use this one and say, oh, this is when we were downtown and who knows where that is, Cincinnati, you know. This is my um, Aunt Darla's house. You know, I, I don't know, I just thought that it would be fun. Another picture of some, anyway, just an idea, guys. If you don't have a whole lot of fun things to journal about, they could, this could have been their family reunion. Um, oh, their dog, you know, and this is just random pictures that I've gotten from estate sales and um, things like that. So I, I do think, however, that I will probably scan them. I don't know that I wanna use the originals like I did before because like I said, you know, I can't, I don't seem to be able to find them as easily. Oh, wouldn't these be great? These are 1950s, a lady and her dogs. Duke Dixon. I have to admit, I don't know who Duke, Duke Dixon is, but somebody wrote all over his face. She could put it in there and she could tell the story about how her little sister got a hold of her picture of Duke Dixon. Here's um, a program from something that happened in 1942. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I think what I'm gonna, oh, look at her. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back through and see if I can find any of the, um, like, any of the stuff that I had originally put into this book. I'm going to go see if I can find any of it. And um, maybe I can start working on Louise's journal again. So, <gasps> there she is. That is Louise. I knew I would have. Look, 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 look. Right there. Oh, there she is. Hello. My name is Louise. See? It's a gorgeous picture. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, there's Louise. She fits perfectly. So maybe that means... Aunt Mindy is in some of this stuff somewhere. I'm going to keep looking, though. I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.